In this video, we're going to be using PAA Blue Sawin and a 28 cent safety razor. Yes, 28 cents. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited about today's video. This is going to be cool. Uh, before we get into it though, I must remind you, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Leaf. I'll pop up the Leaf and Twig right there. If you'd like 5% off your order at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB right there and save yourself some money while shopping at Leaf. All right, today it's going to be an awesome shave because we are using PAA Blue Sawin, or as uh, David Gonzalez and Sefferton Shaves like to say, Blue Salmon. Don't ask me why, that's just the way they say it. So now it's Blue Salmon. It has been decreed by So Sharp David and Sefferton, so Blue Salmon it is. Anyway, this is a really, really nice scent. This is a seasonal from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Let me go ahead and put the notes for you right there. Some of them are sandalwood, burnt sugar, bourbon, pumpkin. I think when I did the unboxing, I said I thought it was maybe a buttery rum. It's a really nice scent. Oh man, good scent strength on it, right well within that medium range. And I am using the regular CK base, which is plenty good enough for me. The price on that is $14.95 for four ounces or on a cost chart there, $3.73 an ounce which is a good price. This is a vegan soap. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. And I really like the scent of this soap. It is very nice, recommended by Lord Shady. Thank you, Shady. I like this scent a lot. A nice, warm, fall type scent. I, I really am enjoying the scent. The lather, let's go ahead and show you a pick of the lather real quick. No problems whatsoever lathering it. And as you can see there, no problems whatsoever making the lather. So we're really looking forward to using this soap today. So the razor for today, which was sent to us by Kim Gray, this is folks, a 28 cent safety razor. No kidding, 28 cents. And just to give you an example of what 28 cents is in the United States, a US stamp just to mail a letter is 58 cents. That's twice as much as this razor cost shipped. Uh, a postcard, which is about the size of this piece of paper, just to mail this, is 40 cents more than the cost of this razor. And Kim actually uh, sent me the, I don't know if you can see that there, but there's the total cost, 28 cents. And Kim said that was shipped, so wow, wow. You've seen me use the Assured razor before, and this is $1 at Dollar Tree, but Kim said, hey, you guys are whack. You guys don't know anything about budget. How about this 28 cent razor? And I'm like, Kim, you're right. You're right. You have out budgeted us all. Comes in a box like this, made in China. And again, let's give you a look at the razor. Handle's a little long for my taste, but there it is. Looks like there's some fair amount of exposure there on the razor. Um, so we're looking forward to using it today. And we shall see what happens. 28 cents from now on, I'm just gonna call it 28 cent, like the wrapper 50 cent. 28 cent, no S on the end. So <laughs> let's let's get into it today because I'm pretty excited about this. I always like to try a budget razor like this just to see how we do with it. And if I do poorly, it's on me. It's not on the razor because the razor's job is to hold the blade in there and it's my job to do the shaving. So we'll see how it goes and very nice lather. The brush for today, by the way, is the PAA Phantom Aerolite, which is 26 millimeters, but it seems bigger. Like the knot on this when you use it almost seems like a 28 to 30 millimeter knot. It's very nice. I like it a lot. I use it a lot and I really enjoy this. I will link the products that are available today below. And keep in mind those that are in the affiliate section, if you use those links, uh, it does help the channel. So thank you if you do, but no pressure. Only buy the things that you intend to buy, but if you wanna help the channel, you can certainly use those links and it helps. So I always appreciate it, and because that's in part what puts content on this channel. So thank you so much if you do. However, um, that is entirely up to you. And wow, wait, this is nice, smells great. What a nice scent this is. I don't know why I skipped this one last year or assuming it was around, I, I think it was last year. It is nice. Good sheen on that lather. PAA soaps lather rather well and lather easily. Um, and I like that. The uh, consistency, 
consistency of the soap is, is soft, but as Doug says, uh, if you want to harden it up a little bit, you can leave the cap off if you like. I don't like doing that because I don't like contaminants in my soap, like dust, debris, and whatnot, but you can, uh, no problem. So let's see how we do today with the some blade feel there. Very light. This razor on the packaging said it was made of steel. It feels more like aluminum in weight for me. Um, I'm thinking this is mild. Uh, I don't think it's quite maybe Gillette Tech or Feather ASD2 mild, but I don't know, I'm getting some blade feel. I would say it's it's not the mildest uh, DE razor that I've ever used, but it's mild. Actually shaving very, very well. I'm getting enough blade feel to where I can feel, feel it cutting, but uh, you know, it's not rough or anything like that. Uh, I think Kim, said, you know, I hope you don't get uh, chopped up with it or cut up with it. And I'm like, oh, no, no. If I do, that's on me. That's not on the razor. Folks, short of the razor breaking down mechanically, if you cut yourself, it's on you. It's not the razor's fault. The razor's just holding the blade in there. It's up to you to wield it properly and to learn how to use it. The same with any tool, unless the tool fails. And if you cut yourself and the tool is still intact, you know, it's, it's not the tool's fault. So, you know, keep that in mind. It's actually shaving pretty well, to be honest with you. <laughs> 28 cent. 28 cent now, baby. Wow. It's what we're calling this razor now. 28 cent. It's actually not bad. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised, and I'm loving the scent of this soap. You know me, I prefer summer scents, aquatics, clean fresh. You know, the clean fresh cologne dupe type scents. But this one here... This is a nice fall scent. I don't mind the sort of, what I call sort of buttery scents of burnt sugar. Um, I, I like that kind of stuff. I don't know that this one, I would. I don't know if I would call this one quite gourmand, but perhaps it knocks on the door of it. And that was a nice first pass, I gotta say. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. I had a brief interruption. I had to stop the video there so we'll continue on with pass number two but uh what i was about to say before i was interrupted there was what do you think subi would say about this razor 28 cents can you imagine his level of excitement super califragilistic this is a great razor holy snickerdoodle <laughs> watch subi and you'll see what i mean like he he uh a couple of us were talking about his videos the other day and he sort of reminds me of like shaggy how scooby do zoinks like he'll make these noises and i'm uh I'm having fun with Subi, not making fun of Subi, because I've told Subi before, like, because his, uh, his, he'll be talking like this, and then his voice will get real high like this, and it's like I've told him before he was the Michael Jackson of uh, shaving, I was just waiting for him to go, hee hee, you know, <laughs> and I've, I've commented before, if you'll see me sometimes comment on his videos, and I'll go, lots of high-pitched moments. <laughs> in this video but go check it out uh, high enthusiasm though so i know some people are put off by high enthusiasm uh so just you know he's basically like male but amped up maybe another couple of notches if you can believe that <laughs> so just be warned there's some there's some enthusiasm going on there but it's fun it's fun i enjoy it and and i enjoy those you know sounds and words he uses it reminds me of that of an old hannah barbera cartoon you know which is fun but i always watch the videos and uh, i wait for some you know for him to say something like holy snickers you know <laughs> it's just fun for me anyway let's get into it here let's get going because i'm going to take all day honestly this is not a bad shaver for 28 cents um again a stamp just to mail a letter costs 58 cents in the United States. So just to put the cost in perspective, amazing. And this, this razor, like on build quality, you're not gonna expe expect, you know, expect it to be a timeless razor or a Bl Blackland or something like that. Uh, all you're expecting is for this to hold the blade in there, to hold it in there straight, which it is. And of course there's some overhang right there. I don't care about that whatsoever. Um, nor did I, folks. And I know a lot of guys sometimes they'll go, of course you don't care about uh, overhang, you don't shave under your nose and all that kind of stuff. 
Folks, I did for years, and I never once caught myself with the overhang of the razor beneath my nose. And I don't remember ever cutting myself in the stash area or the chin area. People make it like that's a big feat to shave those areas. Uh, it's not. It's not. So don't don't let people, you know, fool you on that. Many of us have done that many, many times um, before we had to grow the bald kit when we decided to <laughs> go the route of the bald. But anyway, this is a pretty nice shaver, I gotta say. Um, for, when you consider the cost, it's nuts. <laughs> it's like, how, how is that possible for them to make money at uh, 28 cents? Like it's, I don't know. Of course, of course, it's made in China, where everything you know inexpensive is made virtually. But uh, it's really nice. Now the soap, as you can see, no problems with the lather there. We have a nice creamy lather. And by the way, I want to mention something because folks will uh, comment on Instagram all the time. How do you get that sheen in there? Watch the tutorial. They're below. I have like three or four different tutorials, and I do it the same way all the time. Um, hard soap, soft soap. I've got tutorials down there. But if you're a face lather, I suggest you watch watch so sharp so sharp David and he'll have a sheen in his lather all the time. Watch Jack from the virtual groom room. He'll have a nice sheen in his lather, face lathering. And so watch those guys. There's plenty of guys that know how to get hydration and a soap to get that sheen on there. So watch those guys. Watch my tutorials. I show you exactly how I how I do it. There's no trickery, there's nothing special. And you can you see that right there, the sheen on that? The way I do it is below every video. It's in the links below. So there might be a button you have to push if you're on your mobile phone, show more. And it'll have the links for the products. And below that, social media links, links to all the tutorials, playlists, whatever. It's all there for you folks. I do those tutorials for you, not for me. So <laughs> take advantage of them. Man, that's good stuff. The old peak. PAA CK formula. I love that PAA offers CK6, which is their um, sort of premium offering with some more skin foods and whatnot, and, and the regular CK formula for those who are a little bit more interested in a budget um, experience. I don't think you're compromising on quality with the regular CK, to be honest with you. I don't. It's what I will buy every single time because, you know, I don't need to... I don't need all the extra skin foods because I'm going to address my needs in the post, in the post shave with witch hazel and, you know, all that kind of stuff. That works for me very well. If you need additional butters and skin conditioning, then maybe go for the CK6. It's up to you. But for me, this regular Crown King formula is uh, plenty good enough. It's more than good enough. Lathers well comes at a good cost. You know, you get a very good product for your money and that's what I'm after. And, you know, today we're using this 28 cent razor. That's nuts, isn't it? They must have made thousands of these, you know. I don't know if they were on sale or I think Kim said she got this from uh, AliExpress. And literally it was 28 cents. It's mind blowing. <laughs> but, it's definitely allowing me to do my job in uh, removing these whiskers. I would call it still in the, I think it's in the mild realm, um, but it's not on the extreme mild realm. Like I would consider the old Gillette Tech and something like the Feather ASD2 to be very, very mild. It's not that mild, but I don't think it's quite medium either. But I tell you what, it's not bad. It's not bad. And again, I have to mention, because I am asked about the blade. I have a blade in here that's a new test blade. So I'm not allowed to mention what it is. And every time I do that, people go, why do you keep mentioning it? Because I'm asked, that's why. But I can't tell you because I'm under embargo. So I apologize for bringing it up, but people will will say, well, in that 20, 28 cent razor, what blade are you using? And that will be revealed in due time when I'm able to.
Very nice. Not, not bad at all, I would say, today. All right. Pretty doggone good shave. Let me uh, rinse, then we'll come back and get into boast. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back on off cam. We did a warm water rinse, remove the soap, and then we applied our PAA album. No stinging, so that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave. I enjoyed it a lot. Found the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. Excellent shave today with, this is PAA Blue Sawin or Blue Salmon. <laughs> very, very nice scent. This is a seasonal, so if you want it, get it now. And if you're going to buy both the soap and the aftershave, make sure you get the combo because it's cheaper. And that's uh, whether it's CK or CK6, get the combo. You'll save yourself some money. I'll link all the products below that are available at least. The razor for today, 28 cent. That's what it's going to be called now, 28 cent. Again, before we were all pounding our chests at how great we were at budget shaving with the $1 razor. And then Kim Gray came along, 28 cent, 28 cent. So Kim... You have outdone us all. <laughs> Thank you for sending this. I had a great shave with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with this razor. I mean, it, it did what it needed to do or allowed me to do what I needed to do. So I enjoyed that. We used our PAA Phantom Aerolite brush, which I love, and it's riding on our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. Of course, we used our Captain's Choice bowl, and we will see you off today with a little bit of the blue salmon <laughs> aftershave. And man, I don't know where they come up with blue salmon. Of course, this has the top, the seal on it, which I forgot to, to take off. I'm just going to use a little bit today because I know my wife has to come in here and this is a pretty strong scent. Oh man, that's so nice. Woo! Great scent. All right. Thank you everybody for joining me for this fun shave. I hope to see you back here again tomorrow because God willing, I shall be here. Thank you again. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.